Sean's Kitchen is uh, one of my favourite restaurants uh, out of my six restaurants. When I look at this restaurant, the, the architecture here is over 100 years old. And when I came to Adelaide, I just fell in love. I thought, how can I put an amazing restaurant in here? And somewhere that was approachable and fun for a lot of people to come and eat. And because Sean's Kitchen is in the heart of a, a railway station here in Adelaide, I wanted the kitchen to represent a railway train. When I look at the Maltini, I look at that as my uh, big red steam train running through the kitchen. And then you look at the fire, the open pit and the wood fire oven. That's where we stoke the fire for the steam engine for our big red Maltini. I've got a few restaurants around the place. I've got uh, the Morrison in Sydney, and that's an oyster bar at the back of the, uh, just a block behind the Opera House. Uh, we've got the Grill by Sean Conley, which is my two hat restaurant in Auckland. We've also just opened a restaurant in Dubai called Sean Conley at Dubai Opera, uh, which I'm really excited about, just about to open. When you choose a maltini, it's not an afterthought. It's the first thing you think of when you open a restaurant. It's five ton of solid steel. The maltini has to arrive first, and then the whole restaurant is built around it. And that's always really, really a, a nerve wracking decision because whatever you set in stone is set in stone. When you're cooking a maltini, there's nothing like it. It's like driving a beautiful car. I could liken it to Rolls Royce. It gives you an air of confidence when you're cooking like nothing else. So a lot of chefs like the individual gas burners, but for me, I like, uh, I like to be able to move my food around and feel for the heat and pull things off. You don't want your, your, your heat to be too fierce. Um, so I, kind of, I like to be able to move them around because you find the hot spots, the cold spots, pull things to the edges. It's like a sixth sense, if you like, when you're cooking. You know what to leave on and what to pull off and it, it gives you more control, if you like. It takes you back to tradition and it takes you back to cooking good quality, simple food and nothing too tricky, just beautifully cooked, beautifully presented, just nice and simple. And it's elegant and I suppose that's what you'd say about my food, but you'd say that about the martini too. It's classic, it's simple, and it's elegant. So when I invite chefs into my kitchen and ask them to cook for me, I explain to them the significance of this beautiful piece of kit in the middle of my kitchen. And I explain to them that there's nothing else like it in the world. And how lucky they're gonna to be to be able to cook on this piece of machinery. Not cook for me, but cook for themselves on this beautiful piece of kit. And I say to them, you know, it costs as much as a Ferrari, and it is like a Ferrari, and it's beautiful, so please take care of it. If I give my chefs the best equipment in the world, and I give them the best produce in the world, what can go wrong? Mm -hmm.